Rose Palace is a late 16th to early 17th century merchant's house in Coros 5, Scotland. The palace or great lodging was constructed between 1597 and 1611 by Sir George Bruce. The house was mainly built in two campaigns, the south block in 1597 and the north building in 1611, the year when George Bruce was knighted. Bruce was a successful merchant who had flourished trade with other fourth ports, the Low Countries and Sweden. He had interests in coal mining, salt production and shipping and is credited with sinking the world's first coal mine to extend under the sea. Many of the materials used in the construction of the palace were obtained during the course of Bruce's foreign trade. Baltic pine, red pen tiles and Dutch floor tiles and glass were all used. The exterior boasts the use of crow-stepped gables, including a statue of a whale woman posing on the gable step. The palace features fine interiors with decorative mural and ceiling painting, 17th and 18th century furniture and a fine collection of Staffordshire and Scottish pottery. Although it was never used as a royal residence, James VI visited the palace in 1617. The palace is now in the care of National Trust for Scotland, who have restored a model 17th century garden, complete with raised beds, a covered walkway and crushed shell paths. The herbs, vegetables and fruit trees planted in the garden are types that were used in the early 17th century. This was one of the locations for the film The Little Vampire and the famous TV series Outlander. The village of Koros is said to be haunted by a ghostly piper, sent off to search an underground passage. He never returned but his pipes are said to still be heard. There are also some stories that the palace is haunted. Among the rooms open to the public is the Laird's Room, leading to a stone-vaulted strong room where Sir George's valuable documents were stored for safekeeping. Documents like royal charters were just as valuable as actual cash and Sir George needed a safe, fireproof place for storage. The most impressive room, however, is the Painted Chamber, an amazing room probably created in the early 17th century. The painted wood panelling is a marvel. Kuros was an important religious centre as early as the 6th century. Saint Mungo, the founder of Glasgow, was born here and after his death, a community of monks was established here. The monks mined coal, and over the next centuries, the small town became a center of the coal trade, so much so that Kuros Chalder became the standard Scottish unit of mayor for weighing coal.
The ironsmiths of Koros also invented an iron griddle for cooking oat cakes. But real prosperity came when Sir George Bruce invented innovative ways of exploiting the medieval monk's colliery. Bruce came up with a way to keep deep mine shafts ventilated and it was said that his men dug more than one mile under the fourth channel. The mines at Koros were considered a wonder of 16th century world and prompted James VI, who wanted a slice of the town's prosperity to grant Koros the status of a royal borough. Bruce acquired some of the material used in his construction through trade across the North Sea, including pine from Baltic and floor tiles and glass from the Netherlands. Further blocks were added in the later 17th century. The original interiors featured fine decorative remodels painting.
The garden at Koros has been restored and incorporates many of the features which would have been found in 17th century. It is set behind the property on a slope and also has terraces with the great views of Firth of Forth. The main garden is full of vegetables, herbs, aromatic plants, flowers and fruit. There is also a small orchard with apple, mulberry and fig trees. A flock of Scots dumpy hens roam here, much as they would have done in the 17th century. Although the garden is not large, it is well worth a visit.
If you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.